Graphene has been utilized to create a highly functional semiconductor. The potential of this technology lies in its ability to enable the development of compact and high-speed devices, with potential implications for the field of quantum computing. Greetings to everyone. Today's video focuses on an extraordinary achievement by researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology. They have successfully developed the world's inaugural operational semiconductor using graphene, a remarkable material comprised of a single layer of carbon atoms bonded together by the strongest connections known to science. This groundbreaking advancement holds immense potential for enabling smaller and faster electronic devices and it could also revolutionize the field of quantum computing. The team managed to overcome a significant obstacle that has hindered graphene research for decades, which had led many to believe that graphene-based electronics would never be feasible. This obstacle, known as the band gap, is a critical characteristic of semiconductors that allows them to switch on and off. Remarkably, graphene now possesses a band gap, marking a significant milestone in its development. Without any further delay, let us dive into our in-depth discussion on this fascinating topic. A groundbreaking achievement has been accomplished by scientists at the Georgia Institute of Technology. They have successfully developed the inaugural operational semiconductor constructed entirely from graphene, an extraordinary substance consisting of a solitary layer of carbon atoms united by the most resilient connections recognized to mankind. Semiconductors, crucial elements of electronic devices, possess the ability to conduct electricity under specific circumstances. This remarkable advancement by the research team paves the way for an innovative approach to the field of electronics. At a time when the capabilities of silicon, the predominant material in modern electronics, are being pushed to their limits due to the demand for faster computing and smaller devices, a groundbreaking discovery has emerged. A team of researchers, led by Walter De Heer, a respected physics professor at Georgia Tech, embarked on a collaborative effort between Atlanta, Georgia, and Tianjin, China. Their goal was to develop a graphene semiconductor that could be seamlessly integrated into conventional microelectronics manufacturing processes, a crucial requirement for a viable substitute to silicon. The most recent study, which has been published in the prestigious journal Nature, presents a groundbreaking achievement by Di Heer and his research team. This accomplishment successfully tackles the long-standing obstacle that has hindered graphene research for numerous years, leading many to doubt the feasibility of graphene electronics. This obstacle, known as the band gap, is a vital electronic characteristic that enables semiconductors to alternate between an on and off state. Historically, graphene lacked this essential band gap. However, this research has revolutionized the field by introducing a band gap to graphene for the first time. According to De Heer, our graphene semiconductor has become remarkably strong, boasting a mobility that is 10 times greater than silicon. Furthermore, it possesses distinctive qualities that silicon lacks. For the past decade, our focus has been on achieving the necessary level of functionality for this material. De Heer's journey began with investigating carbon-based materials as potential semiconductors, and in 2001, he shifted his attention to the exploration of graphene as a two-dimensional alternative. At that time, he already recognized the immense potential of graphene in the field of electronics. The driving force behind our efforts was the aspiration to incorporate three distinct attributes of graphene into the field of electronics, he explained. Graphene possesses exceptional durability, allowing it to withstand substantial electrical currents without experiencing overheating or disintegration. A significant advancement occurred when De Heer and his team successfully discovered a method to cultivate graphene on silicon carbide wafers by utilizing specialized furnaces. Through this process, they were able to generate epitaxial graphene, a singular layer that forms on a specific crystal surface of the silicon carbide. Upon proper implementation, the epitaxial graphene formed a chemical bond with the silicon carbide and began to exhibit characteristics of a semiconductor. Collaborating with colleagues from the Tianjin International Center for Nanoparticles and Nanosystems in China, they dedicated the next 10 years to refining the material initially developed at Georgia Tech, 
In 2014, De Heer, along with Lemar, the centre's director and a co-author of the paper, established the Tianjin International Centre for Nanoparticles and Nanosystems. Graphene, in its natural state, exists as a semi-metal, lacking the properties of both a semiconductor and a metal. The challenge in graphene electronics research revolved around finding a way to activate and deactivate it, similar to how silicon transistors and electronics function. The key was to discover a method to enable graphene to be turned on and off, allowing it to operate like silicon. In order to create a working transistor, it is necessary to extensively manipulate a semiconducting material which has the potential to harm its properties. To demonstrate the effectiveness of their platform as a viable semiconductor, the team had to assess its electronic properties without causing any damage. By introducing atoms onto the graphene surface, a process known as doping, electrons were effectively contributed to the system to assess its conductivity. Remarkably, this technique proved successful in enhancing conductivity without causing any harm to the material or compromising its inherent properties. By conducting measurements, the team discovered that their graphene semiconductor exhibits a mobility that is tenfold greater than that of silicon. This means that the movement of electrons encounters minimal resistance, resulting in accelerated computing capabilities within the realm of electronics. As De Heer eloquently stated, it is akin to the disparity between driving on a gravel road and cruising on a freeway. The advantages are manifold, enhanced efficiency, reduced heat generation and the ability to achieve higher speeds, thereby facilitating swifter electron mobility. Among the various 2D semiconductors currently being developed, the team's product stands out as the sole two-dimensional semiconductor possessing all the essential properties required for nanoelectronics, and its electrical characteristics surpass those of any other 2D semiconductors in progress. According to Ma, a persistent issue in the realm of graphene electronics has been the lack of an appropriate band gap, preventing the material from effectively switching on and off. Numerous attempts have been made to tackle this problem, but our technology has successfully achieved the desired band gap, marking a significant milestone in the development of graphene-based electronics. The introduction of epitaxial graphene has the potential to revolutionise the field of electronics, opening up possibilities for innovative technologies that harness its exceptional properties. By exploiting the quantum mechanical wave characteristics of electrons, which is essential for quantum computing, this material paves the way for groundbreaking advancements. The desire to explore the realm of graphene electronics has been a driving force for us, and the rest was simply a matter of turning that desire into reality, De Heer expressed. We had to acquire knowledge on how to handle the material, how to enhance its quality, and ultimately how to assess its properties. This process consumed an extensive amount of time. De Heer suggests that the progression of electronics is a common occurrence, with each generation paving the way for the next. Prior to the utilisation of silicon, vacuum tubes were prevalent, and even before that wires and telegraphs played a significant role. Silicon represents just one milestone in the evolution of electronics, leaving room for the possibility of graphene as the next advancement. In my perspective, this is comparable to a significant breakthrough in aviation, much like the moment when the Wright brothers successfully constructed an aircraft capable of flying 300 feet above the ground. However, skeptics questioned the necessity of flight, arguing that fast trains and boats were already available for transportation. Nevertheless, the Wright brothers persevered and their achievement marked the inception of a technology that revolutionised long-distance travel, enabling individuals to traverse vast oceans. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.